All right, YouTube, this is Omek here, and I'm gonna show you how you can make a Dragon Ball Legends overlay on Photoshop 2. All right, to start things out, uh, you go to New, and you can go, if you don't have this open, if you don't know what this is, at, you can go to um, Film and Video, and click on HDTV to get the um, the quality, the best quality or whatnot. I don't know, I don't know what these others do, but you can test it out. So I already got one open, so right here. So next afterwards you can go to place and beat it you can take a screenshot for your, from your phone and import it from one drive to put it as your back so hold on i might get you should give me a moment i gotta look for it eventually all right so now all right i finally found the um my screenshot from my game but i colored all black so if you don't want to move it you gotta lock it so it won't move while you're editing editing other stuff so to start things out if you want to I'm gonna go with a Dragon Ball Broly movie theme so you can go to uh, alright so now you can go wherever to get your um, pictures from but I'm gonna go to DBS DBZ space to do my theme so I'm gonna use a full power Broly and uh, and the blue boys so what I do, I'll take the background from from our arts car animation. Uh, you can save it as, I'm just type it as, wait, I already got one. Hold on. All right, so I already got my Broly pick from, from the Blue Boys background. So what you wanna do, you always gotta have the the black layer is always on top because you don't, you don't want to ever you always want the um the dragon the black screen on top of everything so hold on let me make some adjustments to my picture uh you can do anything you want to me for me i'll just add like a a blur for it there we go uh, that's probably too much Good enough. No, I don't change it. Uh, give me a moment, guys. Hold on. All right. So now, what I do is put like a motion blur. Well, if you take the um if you put a motion blur all the way to it it'll just you know disappear so I keep it like at at least over 25 alright I'm gonna go ahead and get my other image too so alright sorry about that guys sorry about the AC one back in the background so I right, got my two pictures so once you have your two pictures, uh, hmm. you can go around on DV on the um, Ember, and you can choose where where were special effects that you want on your background. So I'm gonna run a. So you already know the theme, so I'm gonna get Broly first before I do anything. Alright, so wherever you do, alright, so I got my own um, images here. So afterwards, wherever you do, when you add the effects and whatnot, you always supposed to have the background first. Do you put any special effects to like keep it like keep it there, like keep it in check or whatever? But everything, the background supposed to be first, then everything. So I'm gonna just show y'all a fast enough process of how I um made this overlay. So.
All right, so after you're done, go to this website called Defont dot com. You can um, you can choose a damn, what's it called? You can choose a font for whatever we're gonna put your name for your overlay. So I already got one installed. So let me pull up a moment. Well, you know, I'm a down for I'm a download one for example. So I'm gonna get sector. So you gotta download it. Uh, yeah. So you click on a file. Then you go to I think you gotta go to sector. Then yeah. Then oh, damn. Hold on. I pull up. So you gotta install it. Well, since I already have one, so I don't, I don't really need to install it since I already have it. So, so the way that you look for it, you go to the alphabet right here. You go to the horizontal type tool, then you go to you find your letters and whatever. You go to I, I got sector, so I'll click on sector. So I can put my name right here. Then I can put my YouTube name. Then I gotta size it down so it can match. Then you could go to your um your blending options. So since I already have a catalog out, you you can use this to um change your words like a uh, drop shadow you had a shadow in the background and a stroke it will add a, like a, a barrier like a outline between the letters but I'm not gonna do that since I already have like a little loadout over here so hold on you can do this the only way you can do what I did you can go to your blending options you can make like a loadout and you can press on new style, you can make a new type of style so like making a new one every time. So it'll save you a lot of time. And this is how you make a Dragon Ball overlay in Dragon Ball Legends. If you have any questions for if you miss any clues or whatnot, you just leave me a question in the comment section. Alright, peace.